All right, so uh, basically uh, we're gonna go over Adobe, Adobe Premiere real quick uh, before lunchtime. I'm gonna start Adobe Premiere Pro and then I'll share that with you. And I know some of you have already, uh, you already know how Premiere works. Uh, so, and you're, and you're well versed in how it works, but there's several of you I probably need a refresher. So it doesn't hurt to listen through this and I'll, I'll kind of, I'll keep it brief because I have to be leaving to go to lunch here in 15 minutes. So when you start, you're going to get a dialogue box here that you need to uh, title what you're doing. Uh, I'm just going to title it news practice. And the reason for this is if for some reason your computer shuts down, you forgot to charge your battery or whatever, um, and you're trying to find your project. When I charge <laughs> hey, DeMarco, can you mute your mic? Yeah, my bad. Yeah. So um, the reason you want to um, title this is because if you, if you, for some reason the system shuts down and it has a glitch or something, you're going to want to find your product project really fast. And uh, the, the great thing about this part of it is you can put where you want it on the computer. So you don't have to dig through a bunch of program files and stuff on your C drive. You just basically hit browse, go to the desktop, and you can either find a pre-existing folder that you've already made, or you can go up here and type in or and click on new folder and it'll create one for you. So my mouse is wigging out right now. So give me just a second and I'll retitle that to news practice. And when it's done, just hit select folder and that's where it's gonna send everything on your desktop. So it'll be easy to find. I know some of you probably not organized like me. I like to just go and get things done and start, but it's really gonna save you a lot of time later if you do this and it'll keep everything nice and neat on your desktop. So hit okay. And it's gonna start your project. I'm gonna go over the, the, the parts of the, the of Adobe Premiere Pro real quick. Uh, bottom left is gonna be your file bin. The right is going to be your timeline. The upper left is going to be your uh, edit window. And then your top right is going to be your timeline monitor. So the bottom left is going to show you, uh, is where you import everything, as most of you already know. So to get stuff into your project bin, you're going to double click. And it's going to bring up a navigation from your desktop or wherever you have your footage. And you will find some footage that you can throw on um, your timeline. So I'm just going to pick a couple things here real quick. Hit open. And so right here on the left, you can see it's already color coordinated what is what. I have graph, I have uh, pictures right here. I have videos, and then I have what looks to be just music. So those are the four or three main things that you're gonna have in your file bin. You may have some other things like text, um, but we'll get to that later. So the first thing you wanna put in your timeline is video that you shot. And the reason is because your timeline aspect ratio and everything is going to change to all the parameters of whatever you stick in there first. So if I were to stick this JPEG in there first, it's going to conform the entire timeline to this vertical aspect ratio. And if that is a very small picture, your whole video is going to be a small video. So that would be not good. You'd probably have to start over or change some settings up here in the top window. Instead of doing that, just find some footage that you like from the stuff that you shot and throw it into the timeline. It's going to conform everything to that, even if you don't want that as your first shot. And then you can highlight it and hit delete. And that way, um, everything is set to that footage from that point, even if you put the, the picture in next. So to um, adjust your footage, 
So I'm going to load. Uh, let's see what do we got here. So here's some something I downloaded earlier for the intro class. Um, I want to take out a piece of this and put it into my project. So I'm going to find the part where, let's say, where this waveform around the circle is at the top of the circle. I'm going to hit an endpoint, which is these the left bracket here. If you hover your selection tool over that, it's going to tell you it's mark in. And then I'm going to wait till it goes around one revolution. And then I'm give it, going to give it an out point. Now, there's three different ways that you can bring this footage into your timeline at this point. You can click and drag all of it, and this will bring both your video and your audio. And you can see it's trying to change the settings uh, from what we've already set it up to be, but we want to we keep the existing settings that we, we've established. So we're going to keep that. And let me get this a little bit wider so you can see what's going on. And from here, you can move around your footage wherever you want it. Uh, you can separate it. You can um, you can shrink it. You can lengthen it by using the hover tool, which if you bring your selection tool at the very end or the beginning of your file, it will have this little bracket with an arrow on it, which means you can lengthen it or you can shorten it within your timeline. That's always uh, handy to have because there's a lot of times you may need to make fine adjustments and you don't want to go back to this because you may have it already in the timeline. So um, another way to adjust this is to use this uh, playhead, which is the blue line. That's where you are in your project and you can cut it in half by using the razor blade tool. There are three basic tools that I want you to learn is the selection tool, the razor blade tool, and the text tool. So we're going to use the razor blade tool here and with the playhead over our footage, if we click on the razor blade tool, it will separate that in half. And now I can pull that out and you can see it's perfectly separated. The other way to bring stuff into your timeline is to either bring the video only or the audio only. In the edit window, there are two icons underneath the video. One is for video on the left and one is for audio. The video one would be helpful for say B-roll. If you are shooting a, your news project and you need to add some B-roll but you don't need the audio for it, you would just drag that down and place it over your footage. Let me uh, grab another piece of video here and we'll use this as the B-roll. So I'm gonna pull down just the video this time. And if for some reason we needed this guy's audio, if he was just doing a voiceover for us and we didn't need to see all this stuff he was doing on the screen, well, we could select our, our spot that we wanted, and then we could drag the audio only. And it would just give us his voiceover. So that's a perfect tool if for some reason you're, you're doing a how-to video or you're doing a, um, like a uh, trailer for a movie or something like that, and you want to have a voiceover um, throughout your video, that would be the way to do it. You could write your voiceover down, record it on your camera, and then just drag the audio down and you would have your voiceover. Um, as far as titles go, the great thing about Premiere Pro 2020 is that you actually have access to all these pre-done titles. Um, if you do not, do not see your titles when you load up your, your program, you can go over here to Window and go down to Essential Graphics, okay? That's gonna be the window that brings up all the graphics that you can change. It has a ton of templates. So I'm just gonna scroll down here to show you some of the ones that they have. Um, most of them are just basic titles. Uh, they do have lower thirds and they do have title screens, but I will show you they have some very basic titles screens and one that would be perfect for news. So all you have to do is when you find the one you want, you just grab it and bring it over into the timeline. 
And if you bring the playhead over it, it's going to show you what you got. Now, the problem here is this graphic is way bigger than the video we originally put in to the project. Two different ways that you can resize this. The first one is double clicking on your footage. In the footage uh, edit window, there is something called the effects controls. And if you look, there is a, um, a tab right here up at the top in the middle. You can change things such as position, scale, rotation, and opacity. We're gonna adjust the scale. So if you click and reduce this, it can reduce it to the exact size you want. The other way to do it is you can click on it and you can put an exact number or you can double click on this and it's so big it's hard to see but there are little dots on all the corners and if you click and drag on those dots you can move it around you, you can then select it and move it wherever you want in the frame so I'm going to try and make it exactly the same size as we need it by just dragging up once it's there you can click on the letters and you can adjust what it says. And you can also adjust the top title. So that would be a basic title and it's already animated. The, the um, If I played this back, the earth spins and the graphic comes in for you. Same thing for lower thirds. I only have a couple minutes left here. You can go back to browse in your essential graphics menu. And if you go down a little bit further, they have some themed uh, lower thirds that are already set for what we're doing. So I'm gonna drag this over my video. Let's do it over a shot of the guy. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to move my lower third over him. Did I bring down the wrong title? That is weird. Let me go back here. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening there because it was working fine in my beginning class. Huh. That is really strange. Um, it's like it's not loading it for some reason. Let me see if I can find another one real quick. Yeah, it is not liking me right now. Maybe I can find a more simple one. Okay, so you can see that one vaguely right here. Uh, basically, all you do is click on it and change that to what you want. And there you have a lower third that's animated and it's nice and neat and ready to go. It's already set in the same spot. So those are the basic ways to work with uh, Adobe Premiere. When you're done, you're gonna wanna go to File, Export, and Media. And then you wanna change the format to H.264, which is MP4, and you're gonna wanna change your output name to have your name and the name of the project. So Lance News Project. And then hit Export, and it will save to your computer. And that is the gist of Adobe Premiere Pro, and that's about as far as I can go at this point. Today, I just want you all to keep working on your news projects and uh, make sure you do that, that attendance check in Canvas. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be on, or my, my feed will be going for the rest of the class today. You do be leaving though. Yo, I had a question. Damn, he left so fast. <laughs> be like that. Want to be like that? So, oh, here you are.
Hello. We had questions. Yeah, someone had a question for you before you left. I think Mr. Had... Moran, what time does the game start? You're on mute. You're muted. There is no game today. It's at Richland High School, I found out. the They changed the location. Uh, for, so the first game for volleyball will be next week. All right. Thank you. Miss and Moran, what's um, a good website to download videos? Okay. So um, YouTube downloader. Let me find one that I use um, all the time. So there's a couple you can use, um, use at your own risk, by the way, because um, some of them do have files that are, can be downloaded to your, your computer. Um, so there's a bunch here. Uh, the one at the top is the one I use frequently. It's called uh, ytmp3.cc. So if I click on that, it looks like this. You just basically paste your URL right here, select MP3 or MP4, whether you want video or audio, and then hit convert. It will, con it will convert it and then it'll give you an option to download. When you hit the download button, it will download it in the lower left-hand co corner of your, your uh, window. And then you can just drag that file to your desktop. That one is blocked. Okay. Um, all right, so let's go down to a different one. It's called, I know this one works because some of the students were working on it yesterday. Uh, FLVTO.biz, B-I-Z, and then there's a forward slash. Um, let me see if I can put this into a uh, Word document and make it bigger. 